there was a lot that no one is privy to except for me <laughs> in that like so many days would happen where we didn't <laughs> whack <laughs> Oh. Ah. Whoa. Drop the okay. camera. <laughs> oh, we are doing this. We are back. We're oversharing today. We're gonna overshare. Are we gonna overshare? Oh gosh. We're about to share. Yeah. Yeah. We are here. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. We haven't done one of these in so long. The last, oh literally the last time we did like a couch sit down was OMG, we had a baby. Okay, so you all have so many questions and we have all of the answers for you today. We've always been really honest with you guys. So we wanted to sit down and film something to just answer, get really real. And we're gonna share it all. We're gonna share it all today. Can we start with an easy one, please? Sure. <laughs> we literally got like thousands and thousands of questions, but I think the, the one of the most recurring questions to start with a uh, a softball, if you will, mm -hmm. um, is how's life in Hawaii? Island life has been amazing. It's a big shift. If you don't know, we moved to Hawaii about a year and a half ago because we took on this like huge project and we also wanted to sort of start Moon off in a different environment than the city? Yeah, I grew up in LA my whole life and I don't know, I just wanted a lifestyle shift for our family and the fact that we found this diamond in the rough of a property and a house that we can literally transform into our dream home plus give Moon this like totally amazing idyllic way of life is really cool. So I would say the biggest standout thing is the fact that we wake up surrounded by the most gorgeous, natural beauty and we get to enjoy this nature that is just so special. Well, we also, when we moved here, this place was just like brown. And now we've created this oasis. Even within the last year, things grow so fast here. We planted those papaya trees. They were this big and within six months, the stock is like this big. It's so wild. I would say like one of the funniest things is that we never wear shoes. Like we've settled into, <laughs> Ew, I don't, no more wiki feet. Well, okay, yeah, okay, okay. We actually forget to put our shoes on. Like there have been multiple times where we've gone to like the, the mall, mall or the grocery store and we're like, oh, we don't have shoes. Moon, no one judges you though. Moon, no, no one judges you. And also Moon doesn't have to wear shoes to school, which I think is such a unique thing. We literally drop him off at school. <laughs> he started preschool this year with no shoes. It's like, here's your water bottle. We loved our LA house, don't get me wrong. It was like the perfect little starter home for us. We worked out so many kinks with like renovating it and everything but our backyard was like the size of a postage stamp compared to now we have this just amazing piece of property that looks out onto the ocean. I mean, we feel like we've majorly upgraded. Obviously the biggest thing about moving somewhere isolated like an island is you don't have your family around and I think obviously anyone who has kids or whatever, it's like the village. So we really tried to focus on building a village around us here, whether it's, you know, people at Moon School that we're friendly with, just creating the sense of community here. And the people have been so welcoming and so wonderful. But of course we miss family. People come visit a lot. And I mean, this house has just been like a nonstop project, which is good and bad. We bit off a lot with this move, like yeah. this house is the biggest project of our lives. <laughs> Welcome to our dream home in paradise. Yeah, I got it. Why do all our renovations turn into swimming pools? <laughs> what did we do? What did we do? Or both? <laughs> both. 
total living space here. We have like 4,000 square feet plus an acre of greenery that we have to take care of. A and pool yeah. is a whole other thing. One of the most common questions also was, what's going on with the renovation? What's uh, going on with your renovations? You guys know that when we moved here, we found out that like the permit process takes forever. We also like didn't know any tradespeople here. Like it was just, it was it was hard and everything's really expensive here, so. Putting together our team, the learning curve of the permits, the learning curve of also just designing from the ground up. Like in our LA home, we just kind of like redid, you know, rooms. But our plan here is like, gutting the entire house and adding on to it. So it's like we're architects all of a sudden. So we have like a huge update on that, which we'll do in the next video. Yes, we're diving into making more content for you guys. We wanna release weekly. We're gonna try really, really, really hard to have a video a week for you guys. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have the bell on because YouTube won't tell you necessarily <laughs> if we have a video out. So make sure you have the bell on. And if you're not subscribed out. at all, make sure to subscribe. We will be really trying our hardest to bring you guys new videos every week, starting Wednesdays. now. Wednesdays. Now. Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> now. What is that? UPS. Oh my gosh. What? It's UPS. Wait, 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 Dan, hi. Oh, Thank you. you. Those? those look heavy. Oh my gosh, those are heavy. Wait, wait. Joey. Okay, wait. Two big boxes. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm coming. What is it? Wait, this stuff. You need what? You know how I was like dreaming about those like pan carved sinks and I found them for like affordable. I think this is what they are. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. oh my Michelangelo. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, can you lift it up? No, it's so heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, wait, no yeah, joke. I'll, I'll That's really heavy. <laughs> oh, that is cool. God, this is heavy. Oh, God. oh my gosh. Wait, oh, do, if you drop that thing on the tile floor, I will kill you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What? That's a geode. There's like actual like crystal, like crystals in here. This is the taste. Taste of what's to come. Things are happening. I think this is so gorgeous. Okay, can you put it back in the box now? Yeah. Okay, and then we'll get back to questions. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about those things. Oh my gosh. The packages are just gonna start rolling in. <gasps> Also, a lot of people are asking if we are gonna keep going over to other people's homes. We haven't done that since we've been here because we've just been sort of getting our footing. Yes, we're gonna start uh, decorating in other people's places again, which I'm so excited about. I need to create, I need to connect with people. That is like my happy place, is being able to decorate for others in their homes. So we're gonna be doing it, and we're gonna be doing it here in Hawaii. So if you know anyone, if you are someone who wants help, making your space amazing for you, for your personality, for your own personal aesthetic, contact us. We'll have info in the description on how to do that. I think it's what we both really like to do and I think that like you need that creative energy of, of going in and picking people's brains and giving them the space that they need. Yeah, I needed some time but I'm ready to do that because that is my happy place. Are you ready to get into like maybe some more serious questions? Sure, yes. Okay, yeah. so... Um, Okay, well, so wait, there's a couple. Uh, oh, this is a really sweet question. Where have you been your ray of sunshine on YouTube? A big question that we've been getting is where have you been? This is the part where I start crying probably. Um, yeah, thank you for thinking that I'm a ray of sunshine, but quite frankly, I just haven't felt like a ray of sunshine for a while. <laughs> because I've been dealing with some really serious neurological issues that have resulted in me just being in chronic pain. And I mean chronic pain, I mean daily struggling with migraines, which you don't know about migraines or you don't have a family member or friend who gets them. There's so much more than headaches. They really are just 
an incredible burden on just everything in your life and mine got so bad. They were getting worse before we moved from LA and I was like really hoping that we would get here to the island and just like less stress or you know less pollution, less whatever, they would get better and they didn't. They followed the same pattern getting worse, worse and yeah. worse and worse. So I mean there was <clears throat> a lot that no one is privy to except for me <laughs> in that like so many days would happen where we didn't <laughs> whack right. But like, we're like this little family and you know, this little trio of us and like being in chronic pain has been just so difficult on, on all of us. And what was so hard about it is I didn't want Moon to like see it because I wanted to be like the best for him. It is a full body headache really is what it is. I can't describe it as anything else but just completely life altering, which has really been what's happened and it's really been heartbreaking because I love my life, I love my family, I love being a mom, I love being a businesswoman and I literally could not do it all anymore. And I have been in so much pain like every day pretty much going unless I would take meds and I hate taking prescription medication because I'm still breastfeeding Moon and it's something that I love to do and something that I desperately want to do as a mom. Another empty packet. I just haven't had the time, like literally haven't had the time to feel good enough to do what I wanna do and so in those little moments of feeling good, like I would be, with Moon, I'd want to play with him. What are you doing? I'm just gonna wear it as a hat. Like, I don't want him to remember this, like, really beautiful time of him being a little kid and think about me with, like, an ice pack on my head and, like, a dark room all the time. So, I just try to bite the bullet, be with him and be what I could be for him when I could be. I literally have gone to, like, four, five neurologists in L.A. and here. I'm being treated in all the traditional ways. Like I was so pumped full of Botox like all over my entire head. Every prescription pill, there would be nights where I would wake up. I'd ask Joey to give me like, I'd have this injectable one that he'd be like giving me a shot in my butt cheek while like Moon's sleeping next to me. I was like, what is going on? And it's so crazy because no one has an answer. We're making this video now within a month of me trying this whole new thing that by the way it's like not mainstream at all it's this book honestly you found it in like the comment section of like a podcast on Hub migraines. Hubberman Labs did a migraine podcast and then several people in the comments mentioned uh, Angela, and Angela Stanton's protocol yeah the Stanton protocol so it's if you're watching and you suffer from migraines or you know someone who does Check it out. Check out the Angela Stanton it's protocol. There's a book that goes with it. Incredible. Not only does her book really just dive into and blow your mind on like why people get migraines and who are migraine sufferers, it's just very illuminating. And then her protocol is drug free and amazing. So far, I'm having really good results and I'm just so, so hopeful. It's like the, one of those things where I'm like afraid to talk about it. It's really crazy how much of myself I have lost in this process of chronic pain because literally just functioning daily was like my goal. Cause like that's all I could do, let alone being able to excel as a businesswoman, as a creative person, as a mom, as a wife, partner. What am I? A wife, <laughs> partner. Um, you've done amazing. I've got my little... Even what you're going through, you've done amazing. I'm, tra I'm tracking my glucose, 
now I'm looking into all these like metabolic health issues I potentially have as well. We're, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, and, and I mean, this exchange with all of you, like being able to create, like be myself, like be like the parts of me that I really enjoy being is like one of the best things in my life, you know? Like I love being a mom and, and all of that, but like I need this. Like, I need this, like, this is me. That's why, because I've seen a little bit of light at the end of this chronic pain tunnel, we wanna branch out and go to other people's places. Like, I'm just feeling so hopeful. And I guess that leads us to the other super, super. The biggest question we biggest probably question, get. Biggest question, yeah. Like, every other question we got was this, which is baby number two, question mark. Is Moon getting a sibling? <laughs> I want Moon to have a sibling. I love having a sibling myself. Ugh, why am I crying so much? It's so annoying. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> but like, it's been really crazy because... We haven't been able to try. There is just no way that I would be able to be pregnant and then have a baby and have two kids plus a business and be in the kind of chronic cycle of pain that I have been in. Not as to say that like we were thinking we wanted to have one like right away. Like it's so, so hard to just have one kid and a business, let alone have two kids. But for sure, there was just like no space in my mind or my spirit to do it while I was in the kind of pain that I'm in. So think good thoughts for us, for me feeling better. And then maybe we'll put a butt in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> we're feeling good about the trajectory we're on. You're, you're feeling way better. I've been, I'm feeling better, but it's been three weeks and it was like a year plus of feeling like So no baby number two right now, but we definitely want one. So we're just gonna see how this year goes and um, hopefully we're Can on Can you the imagine, ahead. yes, cool. Diving into the biggest renovation project of my life where there's just gonna be construction happening every day plus being pregnant. Yeah. That, yeah. You were pregnant with Moon while we were renovating our LA house. I know, but that was like a two bedroom thing. We were by putting, the way, we were putting by in the tile. Way, this by the is way. ripping out the wall. By the way, no pressure. Thank you. We don't need to have a second kid. I think we both want to, yes. but there's no pressure. There's no pressure, except for the fact that I'm old AF. <laughs> pressure from my ovaries. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying that. I mean, let me just have a Joey appreciation moment. You're like, what, why are you doing this? <laughs> when I say my rock, he's a Taurus, I don't know, he's my bull, he's just <laughs> the most steadfast, like, support. Like, I don't even know what I would do without you because, <laughs> oh gosh. No, literally, like, I haven't <laughs> been, <laughs> I haven't been, like, the best person to be around, you know? Like, no, that's not true. No, but I just mean, like, you're the one that I'm, like, confiding in all the time to about my, pain because I'm like trying not to like have anyone else see it like namely moon and it's just like I really appreciate you don't pull out my extensions <laughs> I really appreciate you being, being my rock bull my bull rock <laughs> my Taurus yeah well look you give so much to me to moon to the world like my promise to you is that I'll always be your rock bull <laughs> What is Woo. happening? We didn't know this was gonna be like the therapy <laughs> session of life. Okay, Just pause the tears. Do you hear that? Oh, is that's that the that? mouse drop. <laughs> is that that drop baby? We gotta be. Oh my gosh, look, it's so small. Got a mouse. Okay. Not the first mouse we've caught. <laughs> Uh, island life for to the max. We have a lot of critters in this Yes, one. the mice are living their best life in our cupboards. <laughs> we have a program with the mice because you have a to program, take mice. A relocation program. You have to take, uh, apparently, you have to take mice like two miles from your house or they'll return. So we take them all to this very special beach. So it's that, actually a gorgeous <laughs> beach. There's like grass and bushes and tons of trash cans to climb into. So this one will go with its family members. <laughs> so... Everything is good. Everything is good. It's getting better. I'm so excited. It's getting be, more epic. Yes, to be back to like creating and just taking it up to a level 
You've never you've seen You've never before. seen before. We're so excited for you guys to be along for the ride and we're gonna be really trying to post weekly videos, which is gonna be so much work, but so great. So we'll see you there. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you got the bell notifications on so you actually know when we're uploading. Let's go to the beach and return the mouse and show Moon. Moon's gonna be excited to see the mouse. Yay, we love you, hey, creative weirdos. Thank you, thank you. Wait. I love you. Oh, I love you so much. We're, we're in a good spot. Yeah. Like, and you're all, sorry, you're extensions. Sure. <laughs> you're good. I'm good. We're I'm good. good. We're good. We're good. Love you. Thank you. Love you. Thank you so much for tuning into this, for being interested. Can't wait to keep inspiring you guys and for you guys to inspire us in return. We thank you so much. We love you, creative weirdos. Stay creative, stay weird, stay you, because why not? Let's go, let's go show Moon the mouse. <laughs> oh gosh, she's not that excited. I feel like this is the 10th mouse I've seen. You wanna help me let the mouse out? Yep, yeah, ready? I can't believe it. You want to bring your cheese with you? Oh, look at it. Following <laughs> 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 me on your shelf. Hello, hello. Is that your shelf phone? <laughs> 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 <laughs>